All right, for this problem, we're going to evaluate these. And right here, we can see we got f of 5 plus g of 3. I'm going to start with the addition right there. Um, but we need to remember what f of 5 is. So just I'm, I'm going to go to function f, which we can see is this function. I'm, I'm not worried about the table right now because my focus right now is just to find out what f of 5 is, right? So there's f of 5. I want to find out what this equals. But it's telling me that I'm trying to find the y value when right here, this tells me that x equals 5. So I need to find where x equals 5 on this graph, right? Uh, which is right here. And then I come up here to this point on the graph, this one, which is showing me the ordered pair 5, 5. Okay, that means that the corresponding y value here is 5. And we can see that on the graph also, right here. So f of 5, that's the x is 5. We found the y value that corresponds with it. It also is 5. So down here, just from that individual value, remember I was pretty much ignoring everything else, f of 5 altogether is just the value 5. But next, it's showing g of 3, which is going to be in the table, right? So I come up here, I say, well, what is g of 3? Well, in order to find g of 3, I need to know what the y value is if I f can find where x is 3 in this table. And it's showing right here in this column. So x is 3, I go down and find my y value, which is 3. So g of 3 is 3 as well. Now again, that, that by the way, would be the ordered pair 3, 3. Perhaps we don't care about that. But this tells me here that my g of 3 is also 3. Uh, and again, these are the ordered pairs. That's 5, 5, 3, 3. The operation is showing as addition, so I will add those two. And I can see my total is 8. So f of 5 plus g of 3 is 8. Now I'm ready to go to the next problem. I have g of 2 minus f of 2. I'm sorry, I have g of 0 minus f of 2. So once again, I'm just going to start with, I'm going to start with g of 0. So I say, well, what is g of 0? Well, g of 0 is here. Here, sorry. Because, uh, again, this tells us the x value is 0. And it's telling us then to find the corresponding y value, which is 0. So g of 0 is 0. So where I have g of 0, I'm going to replace that with the number 0. But then it also tells me that I need to find f of 2. So I come over here. I say, well, what is f of 2? Again, this is asking for the y value when x equals 2. And we can find that from the graph. I just say, well, look, here's my x value that's 2. I come up and find the point that's on the line here, which is the ordered pair 2, 1. And its corresponding y value, well, it's shown in the ordered pair. It's also shown on this line that the y value is 1. Which, again, this would be the ordered pair 2, 1. So f of 2 is 1. So here in our original expression, g of 0 minus f of 2, I now have 0 minus 1, which if you need the calculator to do that, don't feel ashamed, but it should be negative 1. In fact, I'll write it up there. I'd feel better if it was right there. Uh, now I need f of 5 times g of 0. We, we actually just found both, right? We know f of 5 is 5. And then we also saw that g of 0 is 0. Now, some students say, well, how do you know there's multiplication? It's because it's not showing the multiplication between those two, and it doesn't have to because multiplication is the only operation that does not have to be shown. So we really have 5 times 0, which overall, again, if you need the calculator to do that, don't feel ashamed of that. But the answer is 0. Next up, we have g of 3. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewrite this. But g of 3, we know, is 3. So I'm going to take this g of 3, I'm going to replace it with the value of 3, which is what it is. And then I can see just above this that f of 2 is 1. So that would be 3 over 1, which simplifies to 3. That would be my answer. So we found um, all four answers there. We got 8, negative 1, 0, and 3.